During the next 18 years, Eau Claire County expects to receive nearly $2.6 million from two opioid settlements. To spend that money, it's creating an opioid settlement task force. WEAU's Maria Blau takes a look at that group and how it plans to continue the work of county agencies fighting the opioid epidemic. At its meeting last week, the Eau Claire County Board of Supervisors approved the creation of an opioid settlement task force. One of those task force members is Tiana Glenna, the Eau Claire County Criminal Justice Services Director. It's really bringing the community partners together and persons with lived experience to better identify that intersection with the opioids and our community in the criminal justice system because we, we want to work those dollars into the community sooner so they don't reach the criminal aspect of our system. Part of that work, Glenna says, will include continuing the opioid prevention and abatement efforts already happening in the county, as well as finding new opportunities. Some of those services already in Eau Claire County include the work of the Eau Claire City County Health Department. It's really important to be able to provide education to the community on what opioids are, what are the signs of an overdose and how to be able to respond in case someone comes across a medical emergency such as an opioid overdose. To do that, the health department has been using grant money to put on workshops around the community focusing on those topics. It's also providing training on how to use the overdose reversal drug Narcan. We think it's really important to be able to continue to provide education throughout the county, making sure that's accessible to everyone. Like I said, to be able to continue that in English, Spanish, as well as Hmong, to have written materials as well as verbal materials. So everyone has the same understanding of really what is happening within our community and how you're able to respond. As the opioid settlement dollars come in over the next 18 years, members of the task force will work together to determine how to use the money to best serve the community. In Eau Claire, Maria Blau, WEAU 13 News. Glenna hopes the opioid settlement task force will be completely up and running by the end of the year. Last month, the county got some of the first dollars from the settlements and it expects to receive nearly $300,000 before the end of the year.